We're here with Quinn Crew Greg Nelson, uh, founder of the Minnesota Martial Arts Academy, also uh, Team X Factor, um, head coach for Sean Shirk, uh, Brock Lesnar, as well as Nick uh, Thompson, um, and many other uh, professional and amateur level Muay Thai fighters and MMA fighters. Uh, Greg, thank you very much for being on our show. No problem, Greg. Um, Anyway, uh, he's going to show us some of his favorite things. Um, what do you want to work on today, sir? Well, yo, I always got to show a little bit something from the clinch, since I uh, obviously I think that's an integral part of the MMA game, especially given the fact that the cage is going to be always there. You're not always going to be able to shoot in on somebody, so I think it's a, also an underdeveloped part of the game as far as uh, not a lot of fighters do it. You obviously see the success of certain fighters like Vanderlei Silva or um, Anderson, Anderson Silva inside that clinch. And I think it's just a huge part of the game, especially now that a lot of Greco wrestlers and Muay Thai being an integral part of uh, the, the transformation of mixed martial arts. And for those of you who don't know, uh, Greg's been known as like the the man to go to as far as the clinch concerned, predating you know guys like Vanderlei and, and Anderson Silva. He's got a great DVD out. It's a two uh, two DVD set. I think it's called Greg Nelson's Clinch. It's one of my favorite. Um, DVDs I own, and you can actually get it at um, MMACombatZone.com, and I think uh, Sensei Paulson also yep. sells it off his, his website at www.ericpaulson.com. Anyway, um, let's jump right into the clinch work. All right. Now, predominantly, you know, inside the clinch, you're looking for underhooks, all right? You got underhooks, underhooks, underhooks. So a lot of times, I'm going to switch sides over here. What we're looking at a lot of times is if I get this underhook, one of the mistakes is, if you notice where my elbow is, it's pointing down. All right. If my elbow's pointing down, it's very easy for him to continue to drive my arm down and kind of get me off balance. It just takes away the strength of my arm. So one of the first things we cure for this problem is we're always lifting our elbow and pointing it towards, towards the wall. All right. So right now, he's going to try to get his arm down. You know, it's very tough to get that arm down now because my arm is in a much stronger position. His is automatically in a weaker position. All right, so right there, that cures a lot of problems. All right, a lot of people get the underhooks, they get here, the person drops their arm, now they're fighting in this position right here. Okay, first things first, simple stuff. All right, get your elbow up pointing right here. Head is always in the pocket. What I always choose to do when I'm inside this underhook position is get inside and start splitting the legs. Right here, immediately his balance starts to falter. All right. From this position, I got one or two things I'm going to do. All right. As I'm moving, if you look down at his feet, move, foot moves, foot moves, foot moves. All right. So as I'm inside this clinch position, I'm pressing my whole body's pressed against his. I'm moving, moving to bring him down right there. I wait for him to step. Wham! Right before his foot hits the ground, I'm taking off from underneath him. Immediately notice how I'm trapping his foot. All right. I want to trap his legs so he no longer can shrimp in the guard, roll to his knees, roll into me, whatever he may try. This hand's also going to stay in the underhook position, all right? Because I still have this position, very strong, and what I have to do at this point, instead of keeping my elbow on that side of his body, shift it so it's on this side of his body. Now he's carrying all my weight. If he pulls his arm away, he pulls himself, he pulls me right on top of him. So this becomes very, very heavy at this point. Now I can start to hit, wham. I almost guarantee this hand's gonna come up, and at that point, I can control this arm. I can come up to grab it. And a lot of times what we'll be doing here is as we're hitting, hitting his hand comes up, we shift it right there to an elbow. All right, so we're punching, punch, boom, dropping the elbow, okay? So it's a little series that we have from the feet all the way down to the ground. Okay, so one more time. We have our, a good solid clinch. Elbow is up. My knee's inside initially, and I take a step, bumping him. Right? So my foot's in between his. Right now, it's very hard for him to recover position. Okay? As I start pushing him and looking for a step, looking for a step, looking right. Ooh, step. Look at where I land, right here. Foot drops down, inside. Boom, drop. And then right here, pull my elbow in. Now I got my weight right on him, much control. I'm gonna get a couple of shots immediately. He counters, and then I drop the elbow at that point. Okay, just the beginning of the flurry. Okay, all right.